Hi, you're watching Patadendron, and in today's video, I'm showing you five plants that I love and you probably hate. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, hi, welcome. I'm Patrick, and I'm a houseplant collector with an ever growing collection of plants. And I upload every Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So if you want to see how I grow my collection and keep my plants happy, then you should definitely hit subscribe. And in today's video, I'm just going to show you five plants that I love that you probably hate. It's a fun video and I just always see a lot of certain plants getting hate around the community and I don't feel the same way. So the first plant that I want to show you that I love and you might hate <laughs> is the Fetonia. Now this was a plant that I used to also kind of, I never really hated it because I can't hate a plant. <laughs> Um, but I just never really paid attention to them until, I don't know, I needed one. <laughs> and now I have two and I just love them. I love veiny plants and I love plants that speak to me when they're thirsty. Um, dramatic plants, if you will. I like that, like my kind of like gateway to these kind of plants was the zebra plant. Um, it has that huge kind of nerve look to it and these are just a little bit more of a finer detailed smaller leaf version of that and the stems are fuzzy which I love I didn't even know that until I had one and I was able to kind of study one up close but yes I love Fetonia's Okay, so these are my Fetonias up close, and let me just show you what I absolutely love. Look at that. The hairy stems on this, and I didn't even notice that until this little pink Fetonia grew a little bit and grew some legs, <laughs> and they're hairy, <laughs> and I love it. So cute. And this is the white Fetonia. I love how big the leaves look. They're just like kind of big and wide. I don't know if this is the big leaf variety, but if it isn't, then I would love to get that as well because I love these little Fetonias. The next plant that gets a lot of hate and I probably contribute to it myself because I'm still not a big fan of ferns, but uh, I do have a fern that I love and it is this crocodile fern. Um, I haven't had it for too long, but I love its leaves and the fact that that crocodile texture on a leaf is natural is just so cool. and. It's really interesting, like how did that happen? So this may just be the plant that gets me, oh, you know what? No, this is the second fern that I like because I am also so in love with platysariums, staghorns, so, <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm a, I'm a fern lover, lover, lover. So this is my crocodile fern up close and as you can see it has these beautiful crocodile embossed looking leaves and it's just such a cool thing in nature to happen because like what how did that happen <laughs> it literally looks like crocodile skin but it's not the next plant that gets a lot of hate I feel like it's just because a lot of people don't understand them. <laughs> it's a misunderstanding. But the next plant that I love that you probably hate is the croton. I mean, it does not get any love at all whatsoever on the internet. And 
I don't know, I think it's such a cool plant. I love its colorful, festive leaves. No matter what fest, <laughs> it's like no matter what fest you're celebrating, it's just a happy, happy looking plant. And the more sun that you give it, the more of these colored, textured leaves it will give you. It won't just be green and it'll be much happier actually. This one gets full sun. It sits outside, so they like a lot of sun. And that is my trick to keeping the croton happy. And I don't know, it's so cool. Like this, the, the veining on it, the color splashes. I can't, I can't say anything else other than it's so cool. And not only is it cool, but it's super accessible. So I like things that react to the light exposure. I feel like it's a fun little, it's like a mood ring type of <laughs> effect on me, but um, they're, they're fun, they're cool, and they're super easy to find. They have them at big box stores to little nurseries, so, um, if you're questioning getting a croton, I just get it. Here is my croton up close. And as you can see, like this is what I love about it. It just looks so cool with the color and the texture and all the veins. It just looks like this ancient looking thing. <laughs> And see how like deeply colored this one is. And it's also putting out new growth. I just, I give it a lot of sun. And that's what gives it this really cool like colored sun stress look. Ooh, look at this leaf. So the next plant that I'm gonna show you that I absolutely love, that I think a lot of people hate, <laughs> is this spider plant. Now, this isn't a regular spider plant, which, I mean, I don't hate either, but this is the Bonnie, which is my favorite. I love these little Bonnie spider plants. The way that these little babies grow, like little pom-poms, and then there's this big mommy pom-pom. It's so cute. And then also when you turn it around, I don't know, there's certain angles where it kind of looks like 90s newscaster hair. You know what I'm talking about. It's got like the little Rachel, the layers. Just so cute. In tonight's news, <laughs> here is my Bonnie spider plant up close. And look at all the little babies. It's got the curly hair and then the curly little baby hairs. <laughs> it's just so cute. I love this thing. And see, I burnt the little babies off up here by accident. Um, it's in an east facing window, but maybe I just missed a watering and those dried up. But I'm not too worried about it because it's actually regrowing babies. And that's happened here before. And look how full and lush those little baby things are. <laughs> so finally, the one plant, well, it's, it's a genus, but it gets so much hate because I don't know, I guess they are a little difficult. They're kind of divas, but I say it's worth it. They demand distilled water and I will give it to them. It is the Calathea or Calathea. And these are just two of the ones I own, but you could see maybe two more or three more behind me because I love them so much. And this is the Calathea or Calathea Makoyana. And 
and this is the Lancifolia, the rattlesnake. I know it's a Jopertia something else, but I don't know that one. Uh, <laughs> so I love these particular ones. This is like such an easy plant to grow. And I don't know, they're just so chill. They're chiller than you would expect. Other than the fact that they like distilled water, which I find easy because I have a lot of things in my house that want distilled water, like humidifiers and plants. <laughs> so, and I love the leaf pattern on this. And what I love the most because I love a plant with a party trick is that they move depending on the time of day. So I love that these plants do that. It's entertaining. <laughs> it's kind of like having a goldfish, but a plant. And what these guys do is when the sun is out, they lay down and just soak in all that sun, just luxuriating in all that light. <laughs> And then at night, they stand up. Um, I don't know why. I do believe there are a few explanations and I don't know which one is which. So I will just keep those to myself. <laughs> and here are my Calathea or two, the two Calatheas. This is the Makoyana and I just love these leaves. They get so big and Look at the back side. It's a different color. And it has this really cool pattern on the leaves, like in between like this part, this light part. If you look really close, I wish I had a macro lens, but I don't. But if you have one, or maybe you see one out shopping, uh, look at the leaf pattern in between. It's super pretty. It looks like a straw, like a straw pattern. And this is the Lancifolia or the rattlesnake Calathea. This one would, I would have to say is the easiest one to grow. It's just like the least fussiest. It's not as demanding with the water, but it's equally as cool. It's crazy to think that these leaf patterns just naturally happen in nature. They just look so, like, designed. But I guess so do we, right? Humans are beautifully designed as well. <laughs> well, that's it for today's video. Um, those are the five different types of plants that I love and you probably hate. So comment down below if you do hate them or love them or do you have other plants that you love that gets a lot of hate on the internet or I don't know, from your friends? <laughs> Who would do that? <laughs> Make fun of your plants? Rude. Anyways, if you like this video, please throw me a bone and give me a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more of my plant videos, which I hope you do, please hit that subscribe button and I can't wait to see you in the next video, but I don't want to miss you too much. So if you could show me some love in the comments and I'll meet you there. Bye.